Welcome to Skyvac House and uh, welcome to Spin of Clean and another top tip from us. Now you guys quite often call us up and you say I've lost suction power from my Skyvac and this is what we would say to you on the phone but you can't be actually seeing it on a bit of video. So the first place we're going to ask you to look is on your filter. Now this is your cartridge filter here. What we're looking for when we take the filter out is this sort of situation here where all the rubbish gets collected in these pleats. Now, if they get full up and overloaded, uh, this cartridge filter is then not going to work to its full potential. So it's very simple to clean it. All we do is we get a hand broom and we clean it like this, give it a good clean and a dust out. It's certainly worth, at the end of every day, squirting it with a hose to clean it, but very important when you put it back that it's bone dry. Uh, another um, tip we can offer you as well is this basket area here. This can also get coated in a lot of rubbish and then prevent the system from breathing. Now to clean this, we can disconnect it like this. Just be careful because there's a little float valve inside here. Then we can give this a good clean out and make sure this basket area is nice and clean. But very important when you put the float valve back that the white bit is on top because that is heat proof. Okay, so I'll just pop that back into position, twist it tight, and I'll put the filter back, okay? Now, the correct position for your, uh, for your Skyvac and the filter is these three motors need to be in line with this handle, then all the rubbish coming into here is going to deflect around this deflector plate, and protect the filter. And just bear in mind with your filter, it's perhaps worth carrying a spare filter with you so you can rotate them during the course of the day. Okay, so I hope that little tip helps you out.